against Jack Brubaker. Jack, you've really enjoyed the build-up to this fight, I can tell. I've loved every second of it. Why is that? You've come to the big stage, um, you get to show people what you're about, but um, is it Tim Zoo as well? Does he inspire this in you? Yeah, it's just the whole process. So from, from day one, the press conference, all those uh, weeks ago with Costa and Jeff and Tim up on there, I just love the, love the big stage. I, I'm a big stage performer. The more cameras, the better the performance, and I'm just looking forward to putting all the weeks and weeks of hard work and dedication into place on Friday night. There's a few people trying to write you off in this fight, saying that you're a massive underdog and that Tim Zhu takes you out easy. How do you respond to those sorts of comments? Yeah, well, I'm just looking forward to uh, sitting down Saturday morning and just replying to each and every one of them. What happens in this fight, Jack? What are you going to do against Tim Zhu? Hey, Ben, just one second. What we've done is because he likes the cameras so much, I've made everybody who's bought a ticket to watch him to bring your cameras. They keep flashing so he performs better. <laughs> that will help. And everyone sitting here is... Please put up your uh, iPhone and film this. <laughs> what should we expect tomorrow as well, Jack? Any fireworks for our yeah, weigh-in? Yeah, I'm looking forward to the weigh-in. Uh, the, the whole process, it's, it's Wednesday, press conference, Thursday, weigh-in, Friday, beat Tim Zhu, Saturday, celebrate. Very good. Tim Zhu, how do you respond to everything that Jack's been saying? Um, with my fist, Saturday night, um, I'm going to teach him respect. We'll see you Friday night, but maybe you can meet up with him on Saturday <laughs> as really, well. Tim, I'm, I'm sure you're not Jack turning be up. up. That. Thanks, Tim. <laughs> You'll be up for that, wouldn't you, Jack? What a good boy you are. <laughs> How's the preparation been, uh, Tim? You've been over in the US. Uh, you've done a lot of rounds. You, you're looking pretty sharp. How are you feeling at the moment? I always, always prepare, as always, as if I'm fighting for a world title. Um, Twice a day training, three times a day. Uh, my mind's always on that thing, um, on that fight. Um, all these press conference and all these weigh-ins, um, you know, this, this is all part of it. For me, it's, it's nothing new. Um, I enjoy it as well. Uh, but my main focus is, uh, as a fighter is, is to fight. And Friday night is, is where, is my job. Um, press conference, not my job. Weigh-ins on my job. My job's on say, uh, Friday night. There's been plenty of talk about potentially a world title fight for you sometime next year. Bob Arum's made some comments, amongst others. Um, does that add to the pressure of getting through Jack Brubaker on Friday? I never feel any pressure. Uh, I, know, I, know my, I know my goal. I know what, li what lies ahead, the task I got. But I never underestimate anyone. Um, Jack Brubaker, you know, he's, uh, he's, he's going to be a tough opponent. Uh, someone with a new style, a new personality, a new character that I get to face. So for me, it's, uh, it's an exciting time. Um, you know, I get, to, I get to punch someone in the face that, that's been talking smack. Uh, what, a, what a great job. <laughs> What Jack Brubaker are you expecting? Um, there's been some talk, particularly from his trainer Jeff Fennick, that he's going to try and change up his style a bit, make him into something of a boxer, or do you think that when it all gets going, we're going to see the same old Jack Brubaker? Um, I think you can't, no, no offence to, to Jeff, but I don't think you can't, you can't change a style um, in two months. I think it, to be a coach, it takes years and years of, of developing a style, what he's done with, with a few of his fighters. Um, you know, he might improve Jack, but I don't see him uh, making Jack into, into what he, um, into, into exactly what he wants. Um, I see Jack coming forward, coming in, rushing me, trying to rush. Whatever he brings, I'm ready. Um, you know, I've, I've been training hard, uh, trained in America, I trained with my coach who's been pu pushing me non-stop, uh, with my, I've been doing new strength stuff, you know, so, um, everything's, everything's coming to a point where I just have to find the right shot and, um, December 6th is going to come. You would have visualised the ending of this fight, what do you see? Uh, lights out, that's what I said before, um, that's what I've been, been thinking about for the whole eight weeks, um, that's what I want. Jeff, uh, you're in the role of trainer here. How have preparations been for Jack Brubaker? Well, I think everybody knows that I um, had a little heart scare, so um, Basil's been doing a lot of work with uh, Jack. But no, Jack, from the first day I worked with him and got to know him, um, he's pretty infectious. He, uh, he loves the sport. He uh, has worked tirelessly every day. And um, look, um, you know, Jack's going to get out there and um, he's going to give a great show. And um, look, I, I, I was... Uh, around Tim from when he was born and 
Uh, he was born for this. He's a, he's a great fighter. And um, me, as a trainer, I don't underestimate anybody, and I you know try to make sure that Jack has uh, that that in his uh, in his head as well that this is going to be the toughest fight he's had, without doubt. Uh, but we've prepared for that, and that's uh, that's all we can do. We've prepared 100% for this, and uh, Jack will go out and do his best. And like I said, um, hopefully, um, you know, um, we'll catch Tim on a maybe not one of his best nights, and, and we can we can cause an upset. What Jack Brubaker do we see this Friday night? You've talked about turning him into a boxer, or do we see the Jack Brubaker we know and love? Well, I'd like to see um, uh, Jack thinking a little more. Um, you know. Uh, um, it's kind of funny that I've just donated my my brain to the brain bank uh, a couple of days ago, and um, maybe um, I'd love to think that I could give a little bit more knowledge to, to Jack. But Jack has been this kid that every day we've been to the gym, you'll tell him something, especially during sparring, he's always listened. So hopefully he'll be able to listen and he'll hear my voice uh, ringside and um, he'll um, do the best he can. That's what we can do. Um, like I said, um, Everybody knows how great Tim is. Everybody knows how entertaining Jack is. So it, it spells for a great fight, and that's what we're here for. We're here to, to give you people a great fight. Yeah, we'll certainly see that on Friday night. Thank you very much, Jeff Fennick. Let's go to the boxes. And a fair bit of feeling has emerged in the lead-up to this fight. What are your thoughts on Justin Hodges? Um, yeah, his last two opponents have been extremely poor. Um, I'm, I'm really confident of Friday night. Um, and I just can't wait to get out there. We haven't seen you fight before. A few of us have seen you train. Um, can you describe to us what we should expect from you on Friday night? Um, I'm not too sure. I'm just going to go in there and, ha and, and have a dig and, um, yeah, just look, look, look to get that knockout. Thank you very much, Darcy Lussick. To Justin Hodges, your third professional fight. This is the toughest of them, though, isn't it? Oh, look, most definitely. I think um, you know, the last two haven't been great. Uh, which has been uh, pretty displeased, you know, like the rest of the boys, you train hard looking for a, a tough fight and, um, you know, that's why I came into the sport, have a few fights and test myself and scratch that itch, so to speak, you know, something I've always, I've always loved, you know, the, the, you know the, the boxing scene, you know, playing rugby league, it sort of sets you up for that apart from getting hit in the head, but, um, you know, really looking forward to it, you know, obviously Darcy's, you know, been around rugby league a long time. He loves that uh, competition as well. He's going to bring that into uh, on Friday night. So, you know, we've trained hard. We're ready to go. And, look, just can't wait to get out and have a proper fight. You know, this is what I've been waiting for. And I'm pretty sure Darcy's going to give me that. We saw some footage emerge um, of sparring that you've been doing of late. It seems that you may have improved your power somewhat. Yeah, yeah, that's... <laughs> look, I don't want to talk about it too much. That's, you know, I was... What happened, I guess, in sparring, yeah, you know, working with Chris McCullum, my new trainer, you know, and Rass as well, you know, just working on the, on my power, you know, speed and all that type of stuff, you know, just learning. Because in rugby league, everything's taught on the front foot, lean forward, and boxing's a little bit different. You know, everything's on the back foot and all that type of, all that type of jazz. So I just got to, you know, I've been learning that um, and, you know, been training really hard. Like I said, I'm really prepared for this. And then, you know, whatever the outcome is, it's going to be. But like I said, we're going to go out there and, you know, have a really good fight and um, hopefully we can you know, make everyone happy and, and turn into a great night. How do you think your opponent will cope making his debut on a big stage like this? You've had a chance to have a couple of fights and yep. come into a show like this, but uh, this is his first time out. Oh, it's his first time, but you know, he's been around the game. He's played on big stages before in, in terms of rugby league, but it is different. It's boxing. It's you know, the crowd's different, um, the atmosphere's different. You don't have 16 other mates to, to help you out, especially when you're not feeling great. Um, so you've got to make sure you put the work in, you come on fight night ready to fight because it's only you that can get yourself out of there. But like I said before, it's just a fight and um, hopefully nothing bad happens to each other, but we get through it and have a really good night. And then unfortunately, there's going to be one winner and one loser. So we were looking forward to it. What's your prediction, Hodjo? <laughs> I knew you were going to ask that, Benny. <laughs> oh, look, I don't, I, don't, I don't want to say prediction. I just want to... Just wanted a nice, clean, hard fight. It's what I've come here for. Um, but hopefully, you know, everyone wants to win. There's no doubt about that. That's the competitor in me. But uh, I don't know what Darcy's going to bring, so I just have to wait and see. But, uh, well, we're both heavyweights, so probably a knockout for either one of us. <laughs> OK, thank you very much. So that's Darcy Lussick and Justin Hodges. So this is our main event, Jack Brubaker and Tim Zhu. We'll let them break it up in their own time. <clears throat> so 
That's our main event. We'll face the rest of them off tomorrow at the weigh-in. 1pm at this venue. Thank you so much for joining us.